The white paper was only six pages long, so it was a welcome change after Cardano's academic white papers that I couldn't go through, filled with math. So I happily went through this one, and here are the notes for you. So let's begin with the basics. Sado pays not only for mining and staking, but also for all activities that contribute economic value. And thus they eliminated the majoritarian attack by paying uh, for activities that contribute economic value. Now, Saito actually, uh, Saito project uh, is built on the problems of the blockchain, like they are calling the certain problems and they found solutions or their kind of solutions because there are many other, pro uh, many other projects that are solving these problems in different ways. The white paper is filled with calling out these problems and offering the solutions. That's uh, how actually Saito solves them. BTC blockchain is at the moment 364 gigabytes, so okay, that's not that much. It actually a little bit more, maybe this is a couple of months old information, so it's maybe a little bit more. But Ethereum full node, arc, full archive node is over 10 terabytes today. Like over 10 terabytes. So that's really a lot. And every year with all the DeFi and everything that is on, on Ethereum, every year it's getting like way bigger. So that is unsust unsustainable. Sato with their current technology, they are able to actually handle t uh, 100 terabytes a day. Okay, so another problems that we uh, that they talked about, uh, we've already mentioned them. Tragedy of the Commons and Free Rider problem. So tra Tragedy of the Commons, briefly what it is, it's the, when individuals don't care for the group's needs and it leads to collapse. So that's uh, very obvious. Free Rider problem, it leads to under provision of inter infrastructure because under provision, it means that nobody pays for it. And it leads also to, to over provision of paid activities like mining. Okay, so now uh, I drew a little picture for you of how Sato actually works. And this is one of the key inventions of Sato. They call it automatic transaction rebroadcasting. And this is, for instance, something I've never seen anywhere else. It's original and they have patented it. And I'm going to talk about patents in a, in, a, in a while. Bitcoin chain looks like linear chain, like a permanent linear chain when, you know, there is black block after block after block and then you get the full history of the blocks in a, in a note, in a full note. Uh, Sado has a permanent, uh, has a temporary layer, and that layer kind of a cycles. And once the epoch ends, once the whole cycle is complete, that is customary, that is even adjusted as we go according to the needs. So there is not, it's not fixed state uh, how long the epoch has to be. But then certain data from this epoch is rebroadcasted into the next uh, following epoch, into the first block of the following epoch. And that's, for instance, any UTXO which contains enough tokens for rebroadcasting, any unspent UTXO uh, uh, which uh, contains enough tokens for rebroadcasting is automatically rebroadcasted. So you can pay to be rebroadcasted to the following epoch. And that's the main uh, key. And that's why, you know, you get always finite size of the blockchain um, this way, because you always start over from, from the first block, you know, every epoch. So it's like, it's rather a simple idea, but uh, they're building on this and it's an interesting idea. And it's definitely good that there is a project like Sato that is evolving, at least uh, having different ideas, again, different uh, uh, solutions to the problems that are out there that is calling out the problems have different solutions so I really love that there are projects like this because even if Sato is not gonna get any, adopt any adoption that's very uncertain if it's ever gonna get any adoption but even if it doesn't um, it's still going to help the blockchain space as a whole cheating nodes that do not store whole blockchain are incapable of producing new blocks because they do not know which transactions to rebroadcast. Now let's have a look at the, some of their terms. So I brought up two, two terms for you. One is routing work and one is golden ticket term. So routing work uh, is mean for a node to create a block. It's kind of an energy or like, you know, like money is energy. It's derived from transaction fee added in every transaction. It drops with a number of hops in its routing path. It's in the nodes incentive to find the block as soon, as quickly as possible. Okay, now golden ticket, it uh, pays on its nodes. Uh, so Sato pays on its nodes for collecting fees regardless of who produces blocks. 
So um, the the honest node collects the difference between a routing network in block minus a routing network required for block production. So that difference that what the nodes collect. A golden ticket is a puzzle that requires knowledge of hash, so it cannot be um, calculated in advance. Uh, knowledge of hash of that particular block. When the solution to golden ticket is found, allocated fees are released and split 50-50 with the miner that found the golden ticket. And know that participated along peer-to-peer -peer routing network. So that's also a key idea uh, and a key mechanism of Sato. And uh, I like that. Most of the cryptocurrencies are still experiments, you know. So uh, it, that, it, that's the playground where you ought to try new things and to see if they work. And, you know, if there are 10 projects that try different ideas, different approaches, how to solve the problems like this, like one of them or maybe more of them are going to succeed and are going to be better than others and they are going to get the adoption. So thanks to the system, nodes are paid depending on how much they service the needs and so they compete for access to a lucrative in, uh, inbound uh, transaction flow. Nodes are trying hard to find the the applications the dApps that really provide the value to the user that have a lot of traffic thanks to the fee security 51 percent attack is uh, basically eliminated and also i'm mentioning you know that there are more uh, elements of sato like secure multi-party voting and we've already mentioned the automatic transaction rebroadcasting but there is a huge you know red note that's patented so they have patented these ideas but i'm gonna mention that in my criticism chapter so no comment